Hello friends, I welcome you in my videos. Today's topic is Performance Indicator of Banks. This is a series and this is part 1. In this video, we are going to cover the difference between a balance sheet of a bank and a balance sheet of a corporate. Plus, in this video, we are also going to talk about the certain you know concept or terminology which we use uh, as a base for you know uh, calculating the financial indicator of the bank okay so these are like average working capital fund average deposit average advances average business or average investment okay so friends uh, what the reason and uh, you know the motive uh, behind making this video is to you know share the knowledge about the key performance indicators of the bank because whenever a bank publish its uh, you know uh, financial result they only uh, the the media they are only talking about gross npa net npa and most of the casa ratio okay so there are other parameters which rbi has prescribed which the banks has bank follow to report as per the disclosure requirement so we are going to have look on those uh, you know concept parameters also so let's begin with the format of the balance sheet so this is the format of a balance sheet of a bank so you can simply see uh, you can see here that it's a capital and liabilities so under the capital and liability there is a capital reserve and surplus deposits borrowing other liabilities and total so this is a total of liability and in the asset side there is a cash and bank balance with reserve bank of india balances with banks and money at call then investment advances fixed assets other assets contains a liability and bills for collection okay so this is uh, asset size and this is liability side so in the balance sheet of a bank there are two important thing the first one is deposit okay this is the first one and second one is advances this is the main business of a bank okay so this is these are the two things very important thing which we see in the balance sheet of a bank so the deposit so deposits uh, are the assets but it is a source of your you know funds for a uh, source of funds and through which you lend the money okay and advances are the you know, source by way of you lend or bank lend the money to the general public or the corporate okay so this is the balance sheet of a bank but now have a look on the balance sheet of a corporate so this is the balance sheet of a corporate though it is in the vertical format but just to fit in the presentation i have taken it to horizontal format so okay so let's have a look on the asset size so in the asset size we have non current assets and current asset okay and in the liability side we have equity non current liability and current liability so friends here you know the basic difference is the class classification is current and non current okay in the corporate balance sheet there is a bifurcation between the current and non current of assets and liability whereas in the case of a bank there is no such classification okay and uh, uh, before going further let me also uh, just discuss this the format of the balance sheet of a bank or the financial statement of a bank is governed by the banking regulation act okay br act banking regulation act and though the banks are required to follow the accounting standard accounting you know principle but the format is prescribed in the banking regulation act but in case of corporate the balance the format of uh, this uh, balance sheet or financial statement is prescribed under the companies act okay so now if we have a look uh, on the balance sheet of the uh, corporate we can see there is a current asset and current liabilities and so we as a banker and uh, you know the uh, student of finance we know that the difference is known as working capital gap okay so working capital is something which is there and which is very very important thing in the you know balance sheet but the same is not there in case of bank so bank there is no working capital because bank they are doing entire business as a working capital only okay so with this background there is a concept of working capital fund Okay, so these are working capital funds. So what is the working capital fund? It is the total resources in the form of total liabilities or total assets of a bank on a particular date. So nothing simple, it is either total asset or total liability. It includes capital, 
reserves and surplus deposits borrowing and other liabilities and provisions so basically it includes all your liabilities all liabilities or assets so there is simply total of your asset and liability okay a high average working capital fund so we are going to see what is the average working capital shows a bank's total resource strength because definitely when you are having the you know bigger working capital uh, working funds it means you have a bigger picture in the economy okay so but there is another thought also so the working uh, funds are equal to aggregate deposit plus borrowing so as per another thought this simply this is a aggregate deposit or borrowing but generally bank or all commercial bank they take the total assets or total liability okay so this is a working capital fund because this is a very important concept because it will be you know used in uh, calculating key financial indicators so we need to understand what is the working capital fund okay now let's talk about what is the average working capital fund so it is monthly or daily average of total assets excluding accumulated losses if any okay so friends uh, normally when we prepare balance sheet so there is a concept of average asset okay so there we take balance opening balance and closing balance closing balance and there we simply take the uh, total and divide by two so it uh, uh, we get the average but in case of ba uh, banks the the calculation of average is like different yeah. and you know it is more conservative and it is more practical and it gives you more real picture because in case of average in bank we calculate the monthly or daily average of total assets okay so it is not simply opening balance of a balance sheet or closing balance of a balance sheet but it is monthly or daily average of a total asset which is calculated for the entire year okay but uh, you know now if we calculate with this method the average it will give you you know a real picture of a of a particular parameter otherwise uh, suppose uh, my total at the beginning is 10 and last year uh, sorry at the close of the year is 10 uh, 1000 okay so if we can see the average the average will come around 5 500 okay but there can be situation where the your asset is only 5 4 3 2 4 1 so in this way if we calculate the average then there will be huge difference okay so so for calculating the average we are taking into consideration the average of entire year and that is idly or monthly basis or daily basis okay so these are the average which are reported by the banks in the, the form of form 10 to the reserve bank of india okay on the same line on the same line there are other important average parameters okay so we have already seen the meaning of average working funds now there are other you know average uh, you know average uh, financial parameters so first one is average deposit okay so again the calculation is same either fortnightly or daily average of total deposits okay then friends these are just uh, you know uh, the calculation purpose because we know the, what is the meaning of a deposit what is the meaning of advances but how to calculate the average at deposit it is very important so calculating the average we are considering the fortnightly or daily average of total assets okay then average business what is the average business it means the total of average deposits and average advances so average deposit and advances we have already seen the calculation okay then next thing important thing is coming as average investment so friends uh, if we go back and we see the, just the balance sheet of a bank we can see uh, this after you know the balance with bank and money and call there is a you know heading for investment so this is also very you know key financial parameters and we use for calculating certain ratio so average investment is again your you know daily or fortnightly average of total investment so friends in this video this is a part one only here i have just discussed about what are the key parameters and what is the methodology and what is the concept and what is the difference between a balance sheet or uh, of a uh, bank or a commercial bank or a balance sheet of a corporate okay so hope you uh, like this video and uh, if you like please uh, uh, share this video if you have any doubt you can mention the same in the comment thank you thank you very much